So here's a hike I did up to Quandry Peak a couple weeks ago. I'll show you some footage and then give a little commentary afterwards. So that was the fourth 14er I did in Colorado over like a two week period. I did Beardstat, Tories, Grays, and then I did this. And then a few days, a couple days after that, I did Albert. And it might, it might've been just like that day because of the snow or whatever, but it was definitely one of the prettiest ones. So uh, I would definitely w recommend Quandry. It's not too far from Denver. It's just below Breckenridge. So that's only, um, I don't know, an hour, 45 minutes away or so. The first thing you'll notice when you get to the uh, parking lot is all those sides. It's kind of crazy. Obviously, that guy's not too happy. <laughs> there must have been something with like eminent domain and they, they obviously took part of his land to make that big parking lot and I assume he wasn't compensated properly or whatever so I was a little worried about getting shot walking through <laughs> that path um, I was even thinking you could just walk around it's only an extra two minutes but um, anyway so that was a little interesting and by the way I did it uh, I think October 3rd, and that was just after they finished. They have like some either shuttle system or like you have to like reserve a space either in that parking lot or whatever. So just keep that in mind that um, you can't go there uh, anytime in like summer. So I went right after that window when anyone can go. I think October is a great time to travel around Colorado because um, there's a lot less people than the summer. And uh, yeah, the leaves are changing, it's beautiful. I mean, there's still a lot of people like in Rocky Mountain National Park in some places, but like, for instance, I'm camping out in the San Juan Mountains. There's not really anyone out here. There's like maybe one guy camping way down there and another back there. But I'm sure in July, this thing is like, you know, there's probably about 10 or 20 people here. So anyway, so like most of these hikes, you know, you go, you have the first part through the woods and you just get up above tree line. And I think the whole hike is about um, 300 foot elevation gain, which is, I think, about standard for most of these. They're like 3,000 to 4,500. 
and then you get up above tree line you know i'd seen a couple of those rocky mountain goats which was really cool and i think this one actually might be safer than some of the other ones in winter um, even though in the video it looks quite dangerous um, because you are kind of on that ridge that whole time so there's less of like uh, avalanche issue because obviously avalanches would go on the steep sides like for instance if you're walking along a side the avalanche could fall from above like this but if you're up on that ridge and you know you had like micro sp spikes or um, snowshoes you know it wouldn't be too bad maybe so I think people can do that in the winter and then of course as you go up you know it's obviously really you know just small stones and rocks and stuff but nothing too bad I actually did have my micro spikes with me but uh, I didn't end up even needing them so uh, I was able to make it up fine and down of course it was slippery on the way down when you're going uphill you actually generally have good footing and you don't always need micro spikes when you're going down that's when the momentum in your feet i was slipping a lot i should have just put them on but i ended up you know getting down okay and yeah i was lucky to get some really cool drone footage and so i did the trip alone and then i'd seen uh, four guys up there they're actually from new york city and uh, another guy came just behind us. He was probably the last one. And yeah, amazing views up there. You've got that blue lake and another one to the left. And then off to the right, there's looks like there's like four other lakes. And then all those other peaks. And it was really quite jagged and just uh, pretty epic views. So yeah, that might be my favorite out of the five I've done so far. So definitely uh, consider it sometime. Just make sure if you're doing it in summer to like reserve that spot in the parking lot or whatever. And if you'd ever uh, like to do it with anyone else and you don't want to do it alone, um, I offer tours heading up there uh, to some of these 14ers. Um, of course, you could do some of these things on your own, but it helps to have a little motivation. I could also take some pretty cool photos. And then when you get back to your car and you'd normally be super, super tired, I could obviously drive you back to Denver or whatever. So uh, I'll put a link below for that. You know, with any of these peaks, you know, they're about three to four hours up generally uh, depending on you know if you're in good shape or not or whatever acclimated to the elevation you know i mean you could kind of go in two different ways of doing it like you could try to go real fast and then you, you'll be out of breath really fast you know so you have to keep stopping every like you know two minutes for two minutes um i just kind of slowed down my pace like i'm kind of more slow and steady these days and you know you could kind of make that pace going up it took me three hours to do this probably like two hours down and so yeah most of these things are about five to six hours or so maybe seven if you're uh, a little bit slower so you might want to get up there a little early i don't think i started there till i don't know 10 or 11 or something like that So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content. My channel has a lot of different stuff from uh, my travels around the world, whether hiking or biking, and some of the things over the years I've done, whether I was uh, in the military, uh, commercial fishing in Alaska, or uh, my experience living in China and Taiwan for 15 years, and I was a teacher there and led tours and did all kinds of stuff. So if that stuff's beneficial for you or entertaining, uh, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.